I hope you enjoyed my new intro that I have. Um, I personally enjoyed a lot. Um, but straight into what I, what we're doing today. Today I'm compiling all videos, pictures, clips, anything of my guinea pig that is actually on my um on my phone and I'm going to try to I'm going to compile them all into this one video and it's going to it's not going to be super difficult because I already have all of them but I've just got to find all of them and kind of like put them together and all of that so I really hope you guys enjoy this. Some people are going to get really bored really quickly, but some people are going to enjoy this, and um, I really hope you enjoy it. So, <laughs> enjoy! This is my guinea pig's new cage. It's super big, and it's super nice, and um... It's basically like her cage that she has is like way too small for her, I think. So I think that it's way too small for her. So I just have um, this little area out here that lets her come out and run around. But that's basically like a kennel for her where she can get food and water. Well, I have some lettuce out here for her right now. But she can get water and she can hide from people in there. And she has hay in there. So, and she gets her, most of her food in there, but um, right now she has lettuce out here. And this side is just attached by this. And uh, this side is attached by an old hamster cage clip that held hamster cages together. But now it holds my guinea pig's cage to her. It holds my guinea pig's cage together. Most of the time I keep this open just however long I am home. Like if I'm home, I always keep this open. So she can have an area to play around in and I don't necessarily have to be like in the room keeping a super close eye on her. There she is, eating. She's probably gonna come out here soon and just get some lettuce. But just wanted to give you an update. Come on, Cleo. Can you go out of your cage? The best way to get her out of her cage is to ignore her. She always comes out and grabs a piece of lettuce and then goes back in. She, like, tears off a piece of lettuce and goes back in. Come on, Cleo. Please come out. Please. You're so cute when you're running around in your play in the that area. So they're together. Yay. They love each other. <laughs> They're just snuggling right now. Derpy. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. And y'all get along so, so well. They get along really well. Which I'm really glad about. And we're just we're just getting them together in this playpen first. So they can kinda get used to each other. Right, Cleo? Right? Right, Derpy? Right? Yeah, okay. Derpy, you can move if you want. Cleo, you can move if you want. Yeah. You just gonna walk around, Derpy? Cleo's just laying down over here. You wanna do you wanna <laughs> I'm gonna go run around? You're so cute. My guinea pig is eating her veggies. Cleo, can I film you eating or do you not like being filmed while you eat? 
Do you not like being filmed while you eat, Cleo? Go eat your veggies. Go eat, Cleo. You can't just attack the camera. Come on. You can't attack my phone, all right? Go, go eat. Go eat. Go. Go. Go eat. Okay. I was going to try to get some footage of her eating, but she's going to refuse to eat for for the camera. So, yeah. So my, my guinea pig is just relaxing. Adorable. She's so cute. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, that was really weird. Anyways, this is Cleo's new cage. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, yes, you're such a playful little piggy. Hi. Oh, go hide. <sighs> All right, so, anyways, this is the um, living world four feet by two foot cage. It is really big. It's actually the perfect size for two guinea pigs. It's the perfect size for two guinea pigs. And yeah, so I'm going to give you like a little cage tour. Over here is basically just a random cardboard box that we got in the mail. It's not that interesting because it's just a random cardboard box, but she loves it so much. <clears throat> And I will be coughing and sniffling, and my voice will sound raspy the entire video because I am kind of sick. So, I'm getting over a cold right now, so bear with me. <laughs> and over here is her hay rack, obviously, and um, I did clean her cage today, so that's why it looks so nice. And, okay, that corner doesn't look so nice. She can, she can mess up a cage pretty quickly. You would think that she's been in here for a few days, but no, she's been in here for a few hours, maybe. But, um, and then here's just her green igloo, and I did clean it off today, so it's nice and clean as well. And then here I've just got this, um, blanket. Um, it's mostly there to catch the water that falls, because it is, like, making the, um, like, I just don't want it to get into the be bedding. I don't know why, but... You know, I'm just leaving it right there. And then her food bowl is over there too, so it's kind of like just her feeding station. And it's super soft and squishy, and it is so comfortable. So I would love to have it in there in my cage, if I had a cage. But um, I do use Aspen bedding. I'll actually show you which bag I use. I use the Great Choice Aspen Wood Shavings. So this is just what I use. I use the I use the four cubic foot or a hundred and thirteen liters one, and it lasts me a really long time. This is two cage cleanings. And, uh, for this, um, 
living world cage. So she has grown a lot and she is super energetic. She's super outgoing, very, can jump very high. She can, she is that tall and she can jump out of this opening that is probably a foot off the ground. She can jump over it. It's crazy. <coughs> she can just barely jump over this, which is kind of sad. She kind of needs your help to, like, propel her actually over it, or else she would just fall back and hurt herself, and that's, we don't want that. And I moved Bella, so y'all be seeing that in my next video. But, um, I might actually do it in this video, but, that's, that's Cleo, that's pretty much it. Um, just that I upgraded her to this ginormous, okay, I say that it's ginormous, but it's actually just the size that she's supposed to be in. And I am looking for her, for a friend, I just haven't found the right guinea pig yet. Um, I have found a few options that I'm probably going to go meet with, and I really want to get a playful guinea pig, because she is a, a super playful guinea pig, and I probably want to get, like, a baby guinea pig for her as a friend, just because, you know, <clears throat> it's, um, baby guinea pigs are usually more energetic, and I think I might just get one from the pet store, I know... I don't usually su pet buy support buying animals from the pet store, but I just haven't found the right guinea pig yet. And I know that pet stores sell babies. So, I am just going to go on and do Bella's update as well in this video because it's not very long. So, Cleo has her vegetables. Cleo woke up just now. And now I'm going to feed my fish. So just going to give her two, three pellets. That's what I give her. There we go. Three pellets. You can see that there's two pellets in there right now and she already ate one. So All right, oh, forgot to close this. Today I had to throw away a comb because my snail was on top of it and it had just like a bunch of slime on top of it. So I just left it in the trash. So I think this, um, I think Turbo, my snail, is inside the pink, the pink flower. But, um, yeah. Alright, so, I will get dressed now, and then we leave for school. Go down, go down. Oh my goodness, come on! Come on, Cleo! Come here! Come here, Cleo! Come here! Good girl! Good girl! <laughs> You're so cute! So, guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, it was kind of long, and I only have 30 seconds to film this outro. So I'm just going to end it here and say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!